No, I don't waste no time Well, what's going on guys and welcome back to a new video. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Joshua Daniel George. I own a social media marketing agency here in the Netherlands and I also have a coaching business where I basically teach you guys how to do the same. So how to start your own agency, how to scale it and live life on your own terms. Now alongside that, I also have a new YouTube channel where I am documenting my affiliate marketing journey. Um, you know, I'm completely, I'm a complete noob in terms of affiliate marketing, but uh, for 2020, I, would, I wanted to learn a new skill and I thought, why not try affiliate, uh, affiliate marketing? Um, you know, I have a lot of experience with Facebook ads and media buying, so I thought, you know, why not put it to good use and learn something new uh, this year? And, you know, I've basically, I'm basically doing that on a new channel. Um, it will all be linked in the description box down below but i just thought i'd give you guys a quick update on everything so far um basically around october of 2019 i landed my biggest client uh, to date um with a retainer of over ten thousand euros a month and then there's also a uh, commission on like the, the revenue earned through media buying on facebook ads etc um that led to me basically starting another company um, especially for that and a holding company above that um, and then basically both Brampreneur, my social media marketing agency and the new company, they um, allocate the cash flow to the holding and then I basically get paid um, a wage um, through the holding company. So that's basically the structure of what it's like now. And for this new client, we also, uh, on the back of that, basically landed a client of similar um, size and stature etc so this uh, made everything go a little bit more serious because you know prior to this it was much more of uh, you know earning money online living like the laptop lifestyle traveling etc and it all became very serious very quickly and I also uh, basically rented um, an office space in uh, in Amsterdam uh, right in the center amazing location by the way guys it's like um, a few um, people that are in the Netherlands have already been to visit um, Julius, for example, if you're watching this, shout out to you. Same goes for Erwin Kaiser, who is another digital marketer who lives in uh, Groningen. He's the owner of Digiceptual, uh, which he was doing amazing, by the way. Um, he recently went viral on LinkedIn. Uh, but anyway, you know, they, they came to visit, uh, loved the location, etc. But um, basically, what I have realized over the last um, four months, it's January 2020 now, is that the, I'm no longer as productive in the office as I once was. So when I first got myself the office space, so prior to this, I was um, working from my own home and I knew exactly what, at what point I was productive, which was very early in the morning and quite late at night. And then in the afternoon, I used to go to the gym, I used to chill for a bit, work on other projects, etc. And um, when I made that transition to my own office, um, I basically had to re you know, rediscover what times I'm productive and, you know, stuff like that. Um, and another sort of challenge with that was that we are basically renting the office space from one of our clients and um, which makes communication amazing. It's easy, um, you know, they can see how much work we're putting into it. Um, sometimes when you have clients that are, um, you know, basically abroad or clients that you don't actually physically see, they might not, you know, understand how much work actually goes into media buying and Facebook ads, etc. So um, that basically, you know, gave us a big uh, advantage because, you know, we could literally just if anything we needed, any information, any data, any changes to landing pages, etc. We could just literally just walk, you know, across, um, like across the floor, um, and you know, we could just ask, you know, the, the clients directly, which was amazing. But um, that also obviously works the other way around. Whereas, you know, if they need anything from us, all they need to do is literally, you know, cross the room uh, and then enter into our office space and then they can ask us a question. So, um, you know, that basically makes it difficult to work on other projects, um, for example, YouTube, um, you know, projects that have nothing to do with media buying, etc. And I did notice that slowly over time, uh, the clients started to expect my presence in the office and obviously the whole point for me to you know of building an agency was to live life on my own terms and not be location dependent and what have i well not mistakenly but what has happened over the last few months 
is I have sort of become location dependent because I'm constantly in the office. I'm constantly, you know, uh, available for this client as well, which isn't, you know, it's not a problem, it's not an issue. But uh, for example, the other week, um, I basically took a few mornings off to, um, to basically sort out some mortgage stuff. And I got the question, where were you this morning? I was like, well, I was away. Well, what's, what's the issue? You know, I, I'm not, you know, I'm not an employee. I'm, you know, there's nothing attaching me to this uh, office space. And they said, no, there's no issue. It's just we expected you to be here. So when we looked into your office, um, there was no one there. Um, so, you know, we thought, you know, where, where is he? We wanted to ask you a question. So obviously I quickly mentioned that I am available through Skype and WhatsApp and, you know, whatever you want. Um, and that it's not mandatory for me to be in that office space. You know, I'm renting office space. Um, and other than that, I come and go as I please, which I do. But obviously, you know, if you're always available in the office, they slowly get used to the fact that you're always there. So um, I've noticed over the last few months since being here that I have sort of slowly become location dependent and it feels like, even though I'm most certainly not, but it does feel like I'm slowly sort of going back into the rat race because I'm getting, I'm commuting from my uh, hometown Horn to Amsterdam every day, uh, which is only half an hour on the train, but still, um, you know, it's commuting on prime times where other people go to work as well. I'm coming back at the same time. Um, and I'm no, I've noticed that my productivity has suffered because of this. And um, I have actually come to the decision to wait. Obviously, I'm, I'm gonna wait until the lease runs out or the, the, the rent sort of, the rent agreement runs out. And then after that, I want to go back to my original structure of working from home okay so that is basically a decision that i have made um when i got this office um obviously you know you're very ambitious you think it's social proof you think you're going to network with other people you, you think that clients are going to take you more serious and all things like that and what i've noticed is that it's not true in the slightest nothing has changed the only thing that has changed is that i now pay rent other than that you know, productivity over the whole course has stayed the same. Um, you know, the amount of uploads I do on YouTube has stayed the same. The amount of clients that I've gotten has stayed the same. The amount of clients that visit me, which is zero, has stayed the same. Apart from obviously the client that um, is literally you know, down down the down the hall. So other than that, nothing has changed, and this has been a real learning experience for me that. Um, you know, even though people think that going corporate and building the empire and going next level, etc., means owning your own office, and I have now realised that it's not true, guys. So, you know, if you are working from home or you're working abroad, you know, you are basically uh, just as productive and valuable and and good as someone who is basically wearing a suit going to an office every single day okay so if not better actually because you know you don't have the stresses of commuting and and you know basically being stuck into an office and minus meetings etc um so like i said guys um i'm rambling on here this is literally just a sort of documentation video but um, in terms of the office space as soon as it runs out 15th of february i think off the top of my head i'll have to check the the contract um, but I will be going back to the original uh, structure of me working from home. Um, and with that said, I still do live at home with my parents. So that is obviously the next step um, is actually find a place on my own. And being in Amsterdam has sort of opened up, um, you know, my sort of, I don't know, opened up like a new world of, um, you know, living in a city like this. Like I do absolutely love Amsterdam. Um, so the next step is obviously to move to Amsterdam and rather than work from an office, just work from home. So I get a nice little place here. Um, uh, my preference goes out to like an apartment, which is quite high up. So you have like a nice view of the city, preferably with a balcony, and then uh, basically just work from home again. But uh, that is sort of like what's going through my mind right now. That is what I'm trying to get sorted. That was the reason why I also went to a mortgage advisor the last week. Um, so, you know, that is uh, what the plan is going to be going forward. Um, other than that, like I said guys, you know, I have been doing my best to upload more frequently and you might have seen a drop off in my Instagram stories as well because I'm not, I, I basically want to allocate more time to YouTube and less time to Instagram stories with the whole algorithm and stuff like that and there's so many personal brands popping up nowadays and people promoting courses and what have you. So I thought, you know what, let's just stick to what I actually enjoy doing which is obviously YouTube and just, you know, 
leave Instagram stories for what it is. I might bring out more content. Um, basically, I am I have teamed up with uh, Colin Dice and Dice University for the affiliate marketing um, YouTube. So basically, they uh, their content team, their design team manages the the thumbnails, the tags, the rank, and the keywords, uh, the titles, etc. All I literally need to do for the affiliate marketing channel is document the journey for document what I'm doing and they sort the rest out they promote it etc and um, which is obviously the reason why I teamed up with those people um, and you know we were obviously discussing my personal brand how can I leverage that for either SMMA or you know um, affiliate marketing or my coaching business etc so maybe I will promote more on the Instagram newsfeed and the Facebook newsfeed etc but in terms of the stories that is it for me for now um, in the end it was just more me just posting my morning coffee and um, as much as you guys enjoyed it, like the days I didn't do it, I did get the odd question of where is your morning coffee and you know, waiting, waiting to see your morning routine kick off before I can start my day, stuff like that. Um, you know, I'm not as interested in the Instagram stories anymore. I'll, I'll post the odd testimonial, but other than that, I just want to focus all on YouTube. So that is it, guys. It's, it's already an 11 minute video. All I wanted to just do was give you guys an update. Like I said, I'm just documenting my journey. Um, learning as I go along and basically you know, helping you guys out as well so uh, in terms of the office space I absolutely loved my time here in Amsterdam in the office um, but I just want to go back to the way things were I want to start traveling more again and basically you know having that feeling of freedom and basically shying away from the corporate lifestyle in terms of the clients everyone's happy everything's going good everything's going well um, but I just basically want to uh, work from home again and then move home to Amsterdam preferably um, no idea how long stuff like that takes um, it's the first time I have purchased property in the UK by to let but obviously you know that doesn't involve me moving and stuff like that so I have no idea how all that goes but I'll document the journey as much as possible and if I do actually move place um, within you know the next month or so or I don't know how long it takes I'll obviously take you guys along with me maybe do a few vlogs uh, show you guys how I um, if I do get an actual like spare room for the office you know how I do that and decorate and make like a YouTube studio stuff like that but yeah that's it for now guys uh, apologies for the audio I've got my little road mic here but I haven't got the adapter uh, for my phone so um, I had to basically use the camera's audio which is why it might be a little bit echoey but um, other than that guys I hope you enjoyed the update hope you enjoyed the video if you did leave the video with a thumbs up if you have any experience with working from home or working from an office uh, let me know what you think of all that in the comments down below subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you guys in the next one